In a previous video, we learned how to write a template function. In this tutorial, we will learn how to expand on that and write a template class. So if we, if we uh, look at the code we have here, this is from the first video I wrote. Um, we have our template function, but let's say we wanted to expand upon that and use more OOP, uh, or object-oriented programming design, and we want to create a class for it. So I have this template class here. Let me just go ahead and include just an IO stream. Now, for a template class, we're going to do something similar to what we did before. We're first going to declare it as a template. So, template type name T. And then, our class definition will look just like it did before, except wherever we want to be generic about our type name, we'll just instead put T. So we'll just call it template class for simplicity's sake. Now, let's say we want to return um, our type T, which will be whatever type we want it to be. It'll be a double, a user-defined type, an integer. Let's say we want that as a return value, and we'll just say template method one. And we want our two parameters, or we want one parameter of two to be generic. So let's say we want our first parameter to be completely generic. We don't care if it's an integer. We don't care if it's a um, a double. We don't care what it what it is. But we want our second parameter to be an int. And let's cr create one more method, um, template method two. Maybe this guy we want. Both, both parameters to be a, a generic. Okay. Now, what's unique about a template class is all of the implementation has to be in the header file. And the reason is because the compiler doesn't know what types this is operating on until compile time. So, it will create a um, a specific instance of each method for the data type we use. So we'll uh, implement it down here. We'll do the same thing, template type name t. And we'll uh, first create our constructor. Now this here is a unique um, syntax that we haven't used before in the function or function tutorial. where we go ahead and up front declare the data type. So we're going to say that this instance is going to operate on, on a type T. And for every function, we're going to declare it as a template. be familiar with creating regular classes. It's the same syntax except we're now adding this bracket and then these keywords template type name t for every method. So let's go ahead and implement uh, template method one. Again we're going to declare it as a template class or a template function operating on type t. We're going to return type t parameter is going to be t first int second. And for this, um, let's do something simple. We'll just uh, print out the function name and our two parameters and then just return the value of one of our parameters. So just do a c out hello from Let's show what our parameters were. Okay, and then. 
then just to implement our second method, again, template type name t. This one returns a void. We're going to put it in the namespace of, or in the scope of template class t. I'm just going to copy this. Okay. Now, now that we've created our template class, let's go into our main function and then learn how to use it. So we'll include our header file. And let's do, let's go ahead and remove this code here since we don't need that. Um, and let's create an object called template1 or something. So we're going to declare the uh, constructor here. And let's do it on an int temp1. Okay, so we're telling that, we're telling the compiler we want to create a class for this integer. And essentially it's like overloading the entire class, if you will. So that for every data type we put in here, there'll be another set of code for that date specific data type. Let's do uh, temp1. Dot. Let's go ahead and hit our first method. Um, let's do six and one temp1. And you see the eclipse uh, highlight. Eclipse will help us out, and it knows that we're creating an int class, and so it's filling in that type type name t as an int here. So let's do three, four, let's create another one, but let's do a type def. Right? And then we'll do template Let's do f1 is equal to 3.3, 2 is equal to 1.2. How about that? Uh, so we'll do temp2 dot template method. And you see here, we did a type def uh, renaming a double to fake underscore t. And again, the Eclipse is smart enough to figure out, okay, this is this parameter is a double. We told this one to stay an int. We hard-coded that to an int. But then here we said this is going to be a double type name T. This is a type name T, so now it's a double. Um, so Eclipse is kind of smart. It helps you with that, uh, figuring out which instance you're working on. So let's do F1 for okay, temp2. Template method two f whoops f one f two and we'll call it good. So let's go ahead and compile this, and now we'll check it out on the command line. So we have here hello from template method one parameters six and four, and that's what we put or six and one excuse me. And then uh, template method hello from template method two parameters three and four, as we expect three and four. And then we have a hello from again our template method one using our fake data type uh, three point three and remember we provided an int value of four, then three point three and one point two as we expected. So that's how you create and use a template class.